Hi, everybody. I hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be talking about finding a site on Tavera. I'm sure this process is extremely daunting, and so I'm really hoping that this video can ease any anxiety you might have, or at least some of the anxiety you might have, and make this process seem a little bit simpler and more streamlined. Before we, be we begin, I would love for you to take a deep breath and say, I'm going to find a site. Go ahead and pause this video, say that to yourself a couple times, and then come on back and we'll dive in. Once you're, you've logged in, you'll see this home screen page. Um, and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click this My Site Placements button. When you click this button, you will then be directed to um, this screen, which has really important information from our CTC to make sure that you all are on the right track. Please, please be sure to read these instructions thoroughly as it will impact your um, site placement journey. After you've confirmed that you've read these instructions, go ahead and click Submit. Um, and then this task status will be changed to completed like mine is right here. After you click Submit, you'll then be allowed to move on to the Selecting Site category. So once you click this button, you'll be able to see our huge, huge lists of sites um, that Pepperdine has partnered with for students to apply for a traineeship. Um, as you can see, because we have such a huge list of sites, you really don't have to worry about not finding a site that meets your interests or not finding a site in general because we just have so many partnerships. There really is something for everyone. Um, and if you're really, really struggling, please go ahead and make an appointment with your CTC um, or, or GA, um, and we can help talk you through this process and work with you to, to make it a little bit easier. I really wanted to highlight some of the different ways you can go about searching a site. So for example, let's say you already know the name of your site. What you can do is you can type in the name here, and if it is a site that we are currently partnered with, it will pop up. Um, if it is a site that we are not currently partnered with, um, later on in this video, I'll go ahead and give you some instructions on what to do. The second tool is this approved for campus um, drop down menu. So something really important to note here is that you do not have to attend a specific campus to apply to a campus approved site. Um, if it's on Tavera, that means it is approved for our program in general. These tags are mostly used for geographical purposes and also mean that most of the trainees currently at the site are from those specific campuses. Um, for example, let's say you attend the West LA campus, but you live closer to Calabasas or Irvine. Um, you can still apply to sites with the Calabasas or Irvine tag, um, even though you go to the West LA campus. So the next thing you can do on Tavera is this really cool option, um, which is searching for a site based on zip code. And so I'm going to go ahead and type in the Pepperdine West LA campus zip code. So what you can then do is let's say you want a site within like five miles of that zip code. You can type in five there and Tavera will automatically generate sites that are five miles within that specific zip code. Um, so that's a really nifty tool so you can try to find a site that's close to where you live. Um, if we don't have a site that's within those parameters, open up your search a little bit and something will definitely pop up. This next feature right here um, is this favorites dropdown. So as you can see, Tavera has this really amazing option right here that allows you to favorite specific sites. So as you can see, I've already favorited Airport Marina, Allies for Every Child, um, and Beit Shiva. Mind you, these are random just for this video. So because I've starred these, when I clicked, click into the starred section, those are the three sites that are gonna pop up. So this could just make your search really easy um, after you've gone through a lot of these sites, um, just so you don't have to keep searching through our giant list. Another really cool thing that you can utilize is this tags feature. So these are all tags that our team has created. Um, so for example, we have Aliento eligibility. So let's say you're in the Aliento program, um, you might wanna click this tag to see what sites are available for your program. And as you can see, we have many Aliento affiliated sites, which is very exciting. Um, we also have tags for all telehealth training, evening and weekend availability, fall, um, spring and summer openings, um, 
sites that might not be hiring, um, paid sites. So most sites, I will say, are not paid. However, there are some sites that do have stipend opportunities, um, and that would be under this paid sites little tag here. Um, sites with training fees, on the other hand, so that's the opposite, right, where you have to pay the site. Um, and then again, we do have some sites that have some required trainings on Mondays, so we might tag those as well. Um, and this is a an, an never-ending growing list. As you are looking through these tags, you might notice one that says Malibu second year. This tag only applies to Malibu students, and it means that you're not allowed to work at the site until you're finished with your first year in the program. If you want to pursue a site with this tag, you can add it in as an additional site beginning in the summer after your first year. To learn more, please contact your daytime clinical training team. The next feature I wanted to highlight is the services section. So in this section, you'll be able to look through different kinds of modalities a site specializes in, um, maybe a specific population that you want to work with, um, things like that. So this is a really cool thing because let's say you really, really want to do like, I don't know, CBT, for example, you might go and look for CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, or let's say you really want to work with children, you might look for child welfare, or you might look for um, working with children within this list or something like that, or family services. Um, so this is also a never ending list that our sites fill out for us. Um, and it's a really cool tool to kind of narrow down this search. Lastly, you'll see there is this more drop down right here. If you click into this, you might be able to search for a site based on the state. Um, this will not apply for most of us just because most of us go to school in California. Um, you can also look at a specific orientation a site supervisor has or look at any typical presenting problems. So something really important to, to recognize is sometimes you might see a site that is listed multiple times on Tavera. So this is because the site itself has different programs affiliated with the site. For example, I'll go ahead and search for the Maple Center. The Maple Center currently has two sites affiliated with Pepperdine. We have the ACT program and the Child and Family program. Um, so as you can see, these are two very different programs, but they are all affiliated with the Maple Center. Um, so if you see a site listed twice, it's not a red flag or, or a big thing. It just means that there are different programs associated with it. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about here is let's say you know a site that you want to work at, but you don't see it on this list. That means it is not an active partner with us. Um, and so something super, super crucial here is to reach out to the clinical training team and let them know that you're interested in um, doing a traineeship at one of, at, at a site that isn't currently partnered with Pepperdine and they will go ahead and, and help you navigate through the steps to potentially add that site to our list. So once you've found a site or many that you're interested in, you're gonna wanna check out their site profile. So every single site has this document. I'm going to go ahead and use Airport Marina as an example. So what you'll want to do is click open and this drop down will come up um, and you're going to want to click into this practicum site profile button right here. You'll see that Airport Marina has filled this out so well and there's so much information on here. You'll see the address, you'll see a phone number to call, the website. Um, approved for for specific campuses. Remember, you do not need to go to a specific campus to apply to any of these sites, so keep that in mind. Um, you'll see the authorized site representative, so in this case it's Brittany. You'll see Brittany's phone number, Brittany's email. You'll also see if they're currently hiring. Um, and this, I do want to make a note, this is not always the most up-to-date, um, so please use the tags on Tavera and trust those tags over what you're seeing here because it's not always the most up-to-date. Um, as you scroll down, you'll get to see a site description, um, the type of site it is, the populations they serve, any typical presenting problems. You'll also be able to see how direct supervision is offered, whether that's a video, audio, or none. 
Um, this is really important because you do need to have direct observations in our program. It is a requirement um, and supervision is also a requirement. You'll learn more about this in practicum. You'll then be able to see what kinds of orientations a site, site supervisor utilizes. Um, it's always, always an asset to, to speak multiple languages. And so you'll see if there are other supervisors that speak different languages and maybe you can align with them. Um, you'll also be able to see what kinds of trainees they accept. So sometimes there are sites that are only accepting associates and that'll be checked here, but some are accepting both. You'll see when, uh, when your training will start at the site in this section. Um, and if you keep on going, you'll look at you'll see required hours. You'll see any requirements that you might need to start working at the site. You'll be able to see what times trainees, um, so you can expect to volunteer at your organizations. And then listed below, there is an how to apply section. So for Airport Marina, they ask for applications from May to July for the August pool and September to November for their January pool. And they are looking, or they're hoping that you submit an application form, a resume, and a cover letter. Um, some only have resume and cover letter. Some you do need recommendation letters. So it really all depends here. That's pretty much how you can use Tavera to find a site. Once you have received an offer, it's really important that you um, talk to your CTC before you accept the offer. For example, let's say you got accepted to Airport Marina Counseling Services. What you'll go ahead and do is you'll email your CTC and say, hey, I just got accepted. And then they'll give you the go ahead to either accept the offer or deny the offer. If your CTC gives you the green light, you'll be able to click start. Um, and then you'll begin the Tavera paperwork. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and reach out to your CTC or your GAs. Good luck on your search and remember that you're here for a reason and these sites would be lucky to have you. All right, thank you so much.